a weakened and diminished Donald Trump with no stamina whatsoever told a police veteran, you've got to go when he went on just slightly too long at Trump's cult event in Glendale, Arizona, at which he introduced Robert F. Kennedy Jr. with pyrotechnics. Is that sentence I just stated something you would have expected to be part of the political world even just a few years ago? I don't think so. I certainly didn't. Uh, we're going to get to the RFK part of this event. The president of the Arizona Police Association was speaking. When Trump brings someone up to speak, you need to spend 30 seconds speaking, 22 of which you're praising Trump. This guy had notes and he wanted to talk about stuff. And Trump leans in after looking upset and says, you've got to go. At which point the guy packs it up, the crowd increasingly hostile. This is how Trump treats a police veteran. Flowing into our countries, and that's the only ones we know about. Illegal drugs are flowing into this country at an alarming rate, with only five dissent being intercepted at the border. So Trump just said, you got to go. And the guy says, OK, you got it. Folks, let me finish up here, please. <laughs> So, as you know, Trump greatly respects police and wants to hear what they had to say. But Trump does hate it when guests speak more than 30 seconds, especially when 90 percent of it is not about Donald Trump himself. Uh, Donald Trump then introduces Robert F. Kennedy Jr., fresh off of the endorsement of Trump. The song playing is My Hero by the Foo Fighters, a completely unauthorized use of Foo Fighters music who are completely opposed to everything Donald Trump stands for. So the lawsuits and the cease and desists are ongoing. Here is Trump introducing Robert F. Kennedy Jr. I don't think too many of you people have heard of him. And note the pyrotechnics as well. He's very low key. He's a very low key person, but he's highly respected. He is a great person. I've known him for so long. For the past 16 months, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. All right. And then there's fire on the stage. And I mean, we are in one of the absolute stupidest timelines that we have ever. I mean, listen, I I did the show under George W. Bush. We've seen some stupid stuff, but it has gotten really, really bad. Donald Trump, as is often the case when he refers to former President Obama, mentions him as Barack Hussein Obama and Trump obsessed now with how nasty people were to him at the DNC. Oh, they get bored. Like Barack Hussein Obama got far f fewer votes. This he got far fewer votes. Second time. And he won. He won. Have you heard of him? Barack Hussein Obama. Remember Rush? Rush Limbaugh. Barack Hussein Obama. He was nasty to me. You know, he was nasty. Michelle was nasty. They're all nasty. Nasty people. They were very nice. I was surprised. I thought he was, and I was sort of nice to him. I said, no, you know, I like him. Good. It, it didn't matter. They were nasty to me. Yeah. Trump reminding us how nice he's been to Barack Obama. You'll recall that Donald Trump was one of the leaders of a movement that, on the basis of Barack Obama's skin color, argued he wasn't really eligible to be president of the United States and was not actually an American uh, when Robert F. Kennedy Jr. got a chance to speak. And unfortunately, the feed from this event was glitching out on just about every platform. So I apologize that here you're, they basically look like blobs in this segment. Uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. says Trump will make America healthy again. And don't you want a president? That's going to make America healthy again. Right. And of course, Trump, who is obese, mostly eats fast food, believes that exercising diminishes the amount of energy in the body, suggested injecting bleach before. Trump, as the picture of health, is going to make America healthy again. Very, very tough to believe. 
Trump going delusional later in the rally, at which point he said that he believes he has a shot at winning Minnesota. That's a bet I would take in Minnesota. We hope we're going to win Minnesota. You know, it hasn't been won since 1972. Richard Nixon. Right. But we're doing well there, too. But the governor is horrible. You know what he did? He approved a bill to give tampons in every young man's bathroom. Yeah. So Trump will not be winning Minnesota and Tim Walls did not approve that. And finally, as this Castro like endless speech started wrapping up, Trump again tells his now favorite story about uh, shoplifters bringing calculators into stores. So criminals are walking into stores, mean, nasty guys, rough guys, and they take calculators and they calculate. Let's say I want to get up. They walk out and they walk back in. Yep. I saw them using the graph function actually on a TI 83 while uh, shoplifting. It really brought me back actually to my to my calculus days uh, in, in undergrad. So couldn't be a stranger event. Trump kicking a police veteran off stage, introducing Robert F. Kennedy with unapproved music and pyrotechnics and telling some of his normal lies. But if you thought that the rally was weird, just wait until you see the press conference. I've been tracking my family tree for a long time now, and the service I've always relied on is my heritage, which I started using long before they became a sponsor trusted by over 90 million users. My heritage makes it easy and fun to build your family tree with a range of powerful genealogy tools at your fingertips. One of my favorite features lets you quickly find new family members and add entire new branches to your tree. It's always a good time to sit down with my family, show them what I found. For example, the other day I found a scan of an immigration document from when my mother's uncle's aunt arrived at Ellis Island or this document from the US Canada border for my relative who was born in 1895. This is remarkable stuff and really interesting artifacts that are part of the puzzle of my family's past. My heritage gives you access to over 19 billion records like this, making it easier than ever for you to uncover amazing new pieces of your family's history. You can try my heritage completely free for 14 days when you go to davidpackman.com slash my heritage. The link is in the description.